about what the doctors have said. It is not about the doctor's report. But the Lord is able to reverse every situation that is happening in your life. Jesus, you love me too much, oh. Too much, oh. Too much, oh. Excess love, oh. We thank you. We bless you this morning, King of Heavens. We glorify your name because God, you are our banner. You are our protector. You are our Savior, Jehovah Lord. You guide us, O oh Father. You order our footsteps. We want to commit yourself into your hands this morning. That as we go out, Jehovah Lord, in our offices, in our businesses, even to remain at home, God, may we rest under you because you are the greatest. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Today is yet again another beautiful day that we just want to sit at the feet of Christ and learn his word. And uh, when the time comes, because the Bible is telling us that the famine is coming, not a famine for the food that we eat, but a famine, the word of the Lord. So it's good to, 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 to feed on this word of God. And I know I always laugh around with my friends and tell them, read the Bible even if you don't understand. Because a time will come that that word that you've read will come back to you. Because the word of the Lord doesn't come out and go back empty. So we shall... Share from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20. And these are the times when the children of Israelites were moving as they were journeying towards the land of Canaan. And they were being led by different leaders, prophets, judges, teachers, so many people. And they were going to war. They were their enemy on the other side. They need to pursue and cross over. And they needed just simple key words that we want to learn from the Bible. And therefore, that's why I want to take my title as going to war. So verse 20 says that when you go to war against your enemies and see horses and chariots and an enemy greater than yours, do not be afraid of them. Because the Lord your God, who brought you out, up out of Egypt, will be with you. When you are about to go into battle, the priest shall come forward and address the army. He shall say, Here, O Israel. So if it is your house, you can put your name there with your children. Today you are going into a battle against your enemies. Do not be faint-hearted or afraid. Do not be terrified or give way to panic before them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight. For you against your enemies to give you victory. If you have your Bible, please underline that word because it's very powerful. It tells us that it is the Lord your God who is the one who shall go with you into that battle? Is the one who will fight against your enemy. And it is the Lord who will give you victory. There are many things that we are going through. Right now we are battling the war of Corona. The COVID-19. And we are told of the third wave. Indeed it is true because I'm on the ground and I see people are perishing. 
people are dying. People are lacking this oxygen that we are getting free. The, a lot is happening. This is war. So God is telling us when you are going to war, there are simple things. The book is saying, these things that we go through, they are our enemies. You don't expect enemies to come from another country. The physical enemies that we are going to be attacked by Al-Shabaab, the enemies are within your reach. But God is giving us an encouragement because he's telling us that when you see them coming, so these were the horses and chariots, and you think that those challenges that you are facing are great, that you cannot move even one day. You cannot look at your friend. You have no even time. You have no hope. You have no zeal even to pray and even read the word of God. You become afraid. We are told that we should not be afraid of them. You should not be afraid of the issues that you are going through. Face them as a child of God. So when you are told you are going to war, people don't just go to war. War ni vita. Na ukiwa unaenda vitani, lazima uwe mwanajeshi ambaye amejianda kamili. Kama wana mishale, wana binduki, wameva zile sare za vita, na we ni mkristo unasare yako. You have your garments of war. You are prepared to face this world. We are always in war. So we are being encouraged not to be afraid. So it doesn't matter what you are going through. We want to face it because we know our God is with us. We are told that when you are about to go into battle, the priest shall pray for you. You are a priest of your own. I don't know if many of you know that you are priests. And you have power even over yourself. And that time when you are thinking you have lost it and you can't even whisper a word, the word of God is there. Say Lord's Prayer. Just say Lord's Prayer and get out. Face the day. Face the situation. Let Lord take care of it. Because he was telling them, Oh, here, the house of Israel, today you are going into the battle. So you who is seated there, Oh, Ruth, I'm a child of God. And this is what I am facing. And I'm going out. I want to go in boldness. Again, it's whatever situation that I am facing. Because he says, do not be faint-hearted. We are being encouraged not to be faint-hearted. I know right now we have lost people even like in our church. We are seeing our congregants, the people that we love, our friends. Some have gone now to be with God. So we are feeling so lost. We are faint-hearted. We are gloomy. We are told no. We want to face this season with encouragement because God is present. He's present in all this situation that we are going through. And he says that do not be terrified or give way to or panic before them. Don't give way or panic before your situations. I don't know what you are going through. Only God knows. But the word has come out today very openly and courageously and effectively that whatever it is, we should not be terrified. We should not give way to panic. So kama ulikuwa una panic, kuna kitu, kuna jambo ambalo imekuwaza kabisa hata ukakosa kuomba, inuka. Mushukuru bwana, muimbie. Hata kama ni clap, clap, dance in your house. Tell God thank you that I can breathe, that I can walk, that I can go out and even encourage somebody. No matter how much I am in distress, but I want to present you in my war. Because I know you are also in my war. And he continues to tell them that the Lord your God is the one who will go with you. So when you are there and thinking you are battling that war alone, know from today that God is in it. And yours is to be still and know that he is there. You remember the disciples when they were in the boat, they were panicking and they were with Christ. So that is how sometimes we panic. But we are being encouraged this morning that we should not give way to panic because of our situation. Because the Lord our God is the one who will go with us into that fight. So whatever it is, know that you are fighting 
with God. So back off, let him fight it for you. So as he fight, yours is just to say thank you. Because it says there that you will fight for you and your enemies to give you victory. The Lord has promised us victory in our situations. And when you read the word, it is sweet and it is encouraging. So let us not give room to panic to the situations that we are going through. Let us thank God always. So we are going to thank the Lord as I wind with Psalms 18. Psalms 18 shall be our prayer. We love you, O oh Lord. You are indeed our strength. Father, you are our rock. The one that we stand on and we shall not be shaken. You are our fortress. You are our deliverer. Because you have promised us to go through this war with boldness. Because God, you are in it and you shall fight for us. You are the rock in whom we take refuge. You are the shield and the own of our salvation. So as we go out this morning, Father, we just want to lean on you and not lean on our own understanding. Because God, you will order our footsteps. We call unto thee, Jehovah God, and worthy is your praise. Because you say it, you shall fight for us and we shall victor. So receive your victory over that battle that you are going through this morning in the name of Jesus. You receive your strength in the name of Jesus. May you receive restoration in the name of Jesus because the Lord is not absent in your situation. He is present and he is saying he will not let you be battled. He will let, let, let you fight that war for long because he is going to wage it for you and you shall overcome. That the situation that you are going through this morning, it is coming to an end in the name of Jesus. And you shall forge on as a soldier who is brave and who has fought it in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. We thank you, Jesus. You were the word at the beginning One with God, the Lord Most High You're hidden